Hi everyone, welcome to Crown Pointers, and today I have a really special treat. In this video, Rhonda, who brought pineapple all the way fresh <laughs> from Hawaii, is going to show us how to cut it with Aloha style, a few different ways, and she's got a technique to get the eyes out of the pineapple in a very few number of knife strokes, so that's going to be really fun. It's easier to just make a base by cutting off the top and the bottom. Um, not too much. Um, what I'm showing you is the family style of cutting pineapple. So it's um, the, the most, um, I guess, thrifty way. So uh -huh. we try not to waste too much. Just cut off the top and bottom just to make a, a sturdy base. And do you throw out the top and bottom? Or I do, I do. Bottom? Then we don't waste too much after this though. Right. Um, cut sections slices of the peel going around the edge not too deep because we can uh, we'll clean it up later do you ever use one of those tools or do you always do it by i always do it this is a, i use a very good knife this okay. is an excellent knife it's a serrated blade and um just a flat straight blade nice big sturdy one though i don't know that, that the tool would much do better um some of them are, are shaped to a certain size Mm -hmm. And it doesn't work with every pineapple. Now, are you trying to just skim off as little as possible? I am. I am. So, you know, if you go around 10 or 12 times, that's fine. I go for the, the color. Um, the riper they are, of course, you know, the more yellow they will be. Mm -hmm. um, to some extent, um, I, don't, I don't know how um, early they ship pineapple um, to the mainland. But in Hawaii, you can go by the color. <clears throat> When the center, the eyes of each of the fruit gets too brown, though, um, it's overripe. So oh, okay. it'll be gray inside and, and maybe um, spoiled. So um, just make sure that maybe they turn brown, but not too, um, not too dark, maybe reddish, so but brown, brown. if you guys can see this, it's the little kind of center of each circle that Rhonda's looking at. And Hawaii is, I mean, pineapple is not native to Hawaii. No, pineapple is originally from... Um, uh, South America. It was brought in by a, um, a ship's captain to Hawaii, Juan Francisco de Marin, and he actually brought in a lot of different fruits and vegetables and introduced them to Hawaii. So I'm just going to cut off um, just most of the green. But remember how um, we mentioned earlier that um, that pineapple is a collection of fruits. Yes. Um, they also kind of grow in a diagonal pattern. So when we're cutting them, I know people who cut the seeds off one at a time, but um, I find it easier to cut in a diagonal pattern and cut several off at one time. Okay, I think this is the neatest thing. So I'm not sure if you guys can see, but instead of getting one eye at a time, the diagonal is cutting off two or three, right? In a row, uh-huh. Uh-huh, in a row, but on a diagonal. Mm -hmm. Like you say, it's growing at a diagonal. So it's like knowing how to carve a turkey or a chicken, you kind of know the anatomy. Does everyone, I mean, do you always remove the eyes or the, the seeds or do some people just eat that? I guess some people eat that. And, you know, commercially in restaurants, I'm guessing, you know, you don't have the time to do this. Mm -hmm. So, and, and they're small enough. I'm sure they'd be fine. How often would you say you eat pineapple in Hawaii? <laughs> Myself? Yeah. <laughs> Not crazy about pineapple. Oh, you're not? <laughs> not so much. I guess okay. I worked at the cannery when I was 16, and it kind of had my fill. But yeah, whenever so we have guests, um, they love yeah. pineapple. I have a son-in-law who probably eat a whole fruit, a whole collection of fruits. Yeah, I could eat a lot of it too. But we were talking earlier about how, for some people, it kind of hurts their mouth. Yes, yes, yes. High in acid. Yeah. But and, you know, actually now, as I say, there, um, the main variety um, is the the low acid. So the ones mm -hmm. you buy in the supermarkets nowadays are are much sweeter and not as um, sharp. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now that I've finished cutting the eyes out, you can see it's made a pretty pattern with the yes. diagonal cuts. Oh, so, it's really pretty. Uh huh. So if you wanted, you could slice it this way and put it on the grill in um, in rings. But we're doing family style, so I'm gonna cut it into serving si slice serving pieces. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Yeah, you can sample in just a second. Oh, yeah, I can. So I'm cutting I'm it into quarters. <laughs> cutting it into quarters. Okay. Study this. 
And you were asking, you know, how often people eat pineapple. The interesting thing is, I'm always interested in how often people will eat the core. Mm. When we were kids, it was it was a popular thing to eat, but we also used to eat sugar cane right out of the fields. But um, it is a little tough, but you can just eat the edge of it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> or use the cores mm. as a, a stir stick, yeah, for your Mai Tais or iced teas. So... I'm not wasting the core. That's really, really good. I wouldn't waste that. So to turn it on the side, just cut out the core. This is like the part that's left over in the pan when you make cookies. You <laughs> to lick it. Good for you. So the cores, then take the, the other quarter, the rest of the quarter, cut it lengthwise. So you're doing about four pieces per quarter. Yeah. Okay. I'm a creature of habit, though. I get exactly 160 pieces out of a pineapple. Oh, my gosh. I know. Kind of compulsive, huh? Um, but you can um, serve lengthwise slices or cut it again. Into chunks. I wish that they could smell this. <laughs> mm, so good so the pineapple when it it's growing on the ground does the plant only get you know like a foot tall no about three or four feet, or four feet. and it's really um quite poking on the ends yeah. so the people who work in the fields the workers um wear uh, a lot of clothing uh even in the hot summers Ooh. um they'll be um clothed from head to toe um, in fact, they'll um, cut the jeans, uh, uh, the pants off, the legs off old pants, put them up over their arms for a second coating, um, gloves, hats, um, face masks, because it is dusty out in the fields. So it, it's hard labor. Yeah. And here we go. Beautiful. 160 pieces minus one. <laughs> <laughs> one or two, I might have snuck. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Rhonda. <laughs> that was the first preparation, and now we're going to just clean up the cutting board, and we're going to show you another preparation, which is more geared toward presentation versus getting every piece of the fruit, and uh, maybe have a snack in between. <laughs> okay. Okay, so step two in the pineapple cutting demo, <laughs> we're going to cut a different way, which is more for presentation and flair. <laughs> so, hey, como mai? Welcome back. Um, I'm going to show you how to uh, serve a pineapple. So it looks like a pineapple on the table. So it would be a good presentation for a centerpiece. A pineapple would be a great centerpiece just by itself, wouldn't it? Yes, yes. But then one that you can eat that's yeah. ready to eat. So I've cut the bottom off um, kind of straight to just have a nice even base. And I'm that's going to... That's a great point when cutting anything. I've, mm. I've taken a couple cutting knife skills classes and that was one of the things that they always emphasize like especially if you have a hard yam or something so that it doesn't roll around you just first make a thin slice and stable base mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so much safer that way it's a great idea so i'm cutting a, um, i'm cutting the top off i guess later if you wanted to to plant it you could twist the top off and put it in the ground but i'm going to return this um in a okay. few minutes it's part of the display okay and this is a very wasteful way but um i'm going to cut a cylinder uh out of the pineapple. So okay. again, use an, uh, a flat blade, a uh, straight blade. And cut straight down. Are you feeling the bottom of the cutting? Not board yet. Do that, I'm okay. starting it. Okay. So just giving myself a, a target. You're kind of establishing a groove, huh? Mm -hmm, You're gonna go around mm -hmm, it again? Mm -hmm. And go further down this time. Oh, okay. Clever, very clever. So I guess this is where you could use one of those commercial um, cylinder cutters that would cut out the core at the same time. I've seen a few different ones, but then you have to have a gadget for that. And, and have a, million gadgets. a pineapple exactly that size. It's true. I kind of like this way better. Just do it carefully. Don't hurt yourself. Mm -hmm. wow. Wow. Cylinder. Beautiful. <laughs> so let's show really fast. <laughs> Look at that. But then to serve it, we want to take the core out. So cutting it into quarters again. 
removing the core. So um, you're cutting in a quarter and then just cutting off the tip of the triangle, basically, of that wedge to get rid of the core. Yeah, it's just cutting straight down. Okay. More chef snacks. <laughs> Smoothies, that would work. Ooh, that'd be good in a smoothie. Good fiber. When you grill a pineapple, how long do you leave it on the grill for? Oh. To color. Okay. Your choice. Um, it, and I would um, say it would caramelize better if you added um, some brown sugar. Oh, to okay. it. Mm -hmm. Some rum. <laughs> <laughs> so put your pineapple back together, put it on a plate that's going to hold the juices, replace your crown. Beautiful. Voila. Yes. <laughs> there you go. And then do people just take the top off and grab a big exactly. chunk? Exactly. That is Kay. lovely. So another way to do this this is a little tricky, but um, if you wanted to um, have a, a, an interesting presentation, keep the crown on and huh. cut straight through it carefully. You know, I think I've seen pictures like this on mm -hmm. Pinterest of pineapples like that. With a very sharp knife. I know I'm watching your fingers carefully. <laughs> <laughs> so am I. I know you know what you're doing, but it still makes me nervous. Where did you say you went to get these pineapples? 12 different stores. Oh my goodness. It's the time of year. I, you know, as I say, they, they create an artificial season by, by um, growing them in the summer and we're filming here in April. Mm -hmm. So uh, there weren't very many pineapples. Not bad, not bad. So Look at this that. Pretty <laughs> yellow. We'll see, you get to taste it in a second. So. Oh my gosh, that's really pretty. Lays, you know where to go in Hawaii to get really good lays. So that's that's an important part of Hawaiian culture. Uh -huh, what what uh -huh. is that about? Traditionally, um, Chinatown, just the downtown Honolulu area, okay. has a, a large assortment of um, fresh lei, um, with and depending on the season, different flowers. So I'm cutting this one um, into quarters, thinking as we go. I think I'm going to make a... Just make a individual a um, personal pineapple. A, per, a personal pineapple serving. Um, so I'm going to use a curved knife. It's an actual pineapple knife. Oh, but I, uh, I didn't can, know there was such a thing. <laughs> there, there is. Um, but you can use a, I guess, a grapefruit knife or a curved um, serrated blade. You could use a, a, a small um, steak knife if you do half of it at a time. But okay. I'm going to go um, just inside the skin avoiding the eyes. How deep do those eyes go? Just quarter, half, quarter an inch, eighth of an inch? Mm, maybe half. Okay. But um, you, can, you can go as thin as you want and then cut them out later because this piece of pineapple will come out in a chunk. You can clean it later. So I've cut a, um, the entire flesh out of one of the quarters of the pineapple. I'm going to remove the the Again. The core. I'll put it down to show you the safe way. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> adding cores are adding up. Um, oh, okay. What am I going to do? I think I'm going to slice it on the. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How amazing would it be to go to lunch at someone's house and get one of these on your plate <laughs> or on a platter? <laughs> so cool. So here's your individual serving. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> Another way you could serve the, the exact same <laughs> amount would be to, um, again, cut it, release it from the shell. This is a sticky process, no matter what, huh? S sticky? Sticky. We've got <laughs> juice everywhere. Oh, sure. <laughs> sticky, but worth it. Do it near a sink. Definitely. So um, I've released the flesh, but kept the core on. 
now I'm going to separate oh, the core. I was wondering if you just missed that section. But you, you <laughs> Did that on purpose. Yeah. Keep the core um, attached to the, <laughs> carefully, the core attached. Did I get it all? So that the, the flesh is um, loose, but the core huh. is still attached. Okay, put that back in. Um, and slice the, the flesh wow. into, into slices. Fancy. Not done yet. How many ways would you say you know how to oh cut Oh my goodness. Apple? Well, you're gonna see a few of them. I haven't counted. Okay, <laughs> so then, um, to serve, alternate. Oh, cool. Pushing one in and out in either direction. Oh my gosh. Oh, you have an outrigger canoe. <laughs> <laughs> that is beautiful. You'd come to lunch for that. Absolutely. Okay, so with this one, I'm gonna take the flesh out of a half. Okay. And if it is easier, you could have taken the, the, um, the crown off if it doesn't appeal to you. I think it looks really cool. Oh, there. Okay. I'm really so wasting. On this one, you didn't slice the bottom off, is that right? You just left no, it on No, just left it on. Okay. So, because we're gonna um, stand it on its side. Mm -hmm. So I've taken most of it out, not very economically, but let me cut the pineapple into chunks. Okay. So there's some good standard things between all of these different methods. You usually quarter it and then take the the core out. Yeah, I think so. Except, for, yeah, for yes, except for, yes, because yeah. it's easier. You get a flat base again, mm -hmm. safe base to to cut the core, which I didn't do every time. Um, now just cut it into chunks. We should have weighed them to see how much I'm wasting on some <laughs> of these. But again, you know, it's presentation. Put them back oh, into the. Oh, it's a pineapple fruit bowl. It, yes, it is. <laughs> Love it. So it's a nice way to serve. It's pretty. And um, it's especially good topped with either vanilla ice cream or guava sherbet. Wow, as if it's not good enough. Mm -hmm. You can mix <laughs> it with other fruit at this time, but it makes a, a nice pineapple boat. Oh my gosh, voila. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> Gorgeous. Thank you so much, Rhonda. This was really special and a lot of fun. We hope this video was helpful to you guys too and that you'll enjoy pineapple in a whole variety of ways. I We didn't even get into the health benefits of pineapple mm. today, but those are numerous too. And in the comments section, please let us know what kind of recipes you use pineapple in or how you like to enjoy it. While you're down there, you can click subscribe plus the bell to be notified every time we upload a new video to Crown Pointers. And each week we have a new tip, trick, or pointer for the adventure of everyday life. Aloha. Aloha and a hui ho. Aloha, and that means... See you later. Aloha, and we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.